we are high up. <laughs> so almost almost 30 feet. We're like 28.9. <laughs> well, it really now looks like a go-kart track. It has really come together in the last few weeks, Clint. Yes, uh, these guys are still working non-stop trying to get this uh, this go-kart track up and ready for the spring. Uh, still a lot of rain going on, which uh, hinders them from being able to move equipment around on site, but uh, they are still hanging steel. We are standing on one of the highest points of the go-kart track, uh, which the decking goes all the way down the ramp, and uh, they're also working on decking and steel on, uh, on the second helix and ramp. So we need dry weather for the rest of 2000. 19. So if we could just cross our fingers and not get any more rain or snow, that would be great. Uh, you know, obviously every time it rains, uh, this just turns into a big mud puddle and it's very, very difficult to get equipment around. But uh, the, the less it rains, the more uh, the more it uh, uh, dries itself out and the easier it is for them to maneuver around the uh, site. So. I stand here and I look and I just try to imagine being in a go-kart on this. This is going to be so much fun. It is going to be crazy. Uh, you know, again, you, you, you think, oh, 30 feet, that's not very high. But then when you stand up here and you're looking down on roofs, uh, rooftops of yeah. uh, businesses around us, it really shows you how high 30 feet is. And it's really, really going to be fun and impressive. Well, what's nice about this, and, and I noticed it standing up here today, is just uh, the, the wood is nice. And it's not just some steel structure. Yes, it is a really unique looking structure. And that's why people passing by on the road, most of them are like, I, I don't even know what they're building. It's, yeah. It looks like a roller coaster or something. So it's a, a wood frame uh, with uh, steel beams, wood decking, and then on top of this wood decking, we're going to have a smooth cement finish, a concrete finish. So uh, it's going to be a very nice smooth drive uh, through the whole go-kart track. It's going to be a lot of fun. What we're looking at down here is our second spiral. You go up the spiral and then down the ramp towards the pit. Uh, that is only uh, a one one full circle spiral where the giant spiral, which they haven't started the steel yet for, is going to be three full circles before we get to this 30 foot height. And then this is the down ramp that's going to bring us back down to the pit. So where are we going to start? Where, where will this all start? Uh, the pit building still stays the same. Uh, you're going to actually go out the front of the building just like you did before. You're gonna go around where all the wood piles are, and then you're gonna make your way into the first uh, giant helix, which brings us up to this point. Okay. We go back down, we do a big turn here, and then into the second helix. How, but how long will, will it take, a ride take, typical? Uh, the, uh, the ride is gonna be four and a half minutes long, just like the old, old go-karts were. Uh, and um, we're not really sure how many laps we're gonna be able to get out of that, because uh, it is a much bigger track than it was before, so. Boy, um, as, as you take a look at this, I mean, you just you just think now, I mean, a, a lot has been done over the last few months. Yeah, they started, uh, they, they actually started the uh, erection of the go-kart track on January 11th. And so to think we're about uh, two months into it now, and, uh, you know, they still have some steel work to go. Uh, a lot of the decking is, is done as far as they can get until the steel work is done. So they're really coming along very quickly. Funland of Fredericksburg is living up to its name. <laughs> you guys got to come check it out. This spring, we are bringing the largest, the tallest go-kart track in Virginia right here.